Hey guys, so today we're going to try another print on the Hicktop uh, D3 Hero. I picked out a model on Thingiverse. This was actually one that was done by uh, Lobi, I believe is what she goes by on, on Thingiverse. Uh, and it was altered by another gentleman who took and uh, made it into a multicolor print. In this case, we're going to go ahead and do it in two colors. Uh, once again, I'm going to go with the neon green AMZ 3D along with the, the dark blue and just see how it turns out. This is going to be a profile that I created in Kira, trying to go with what I can find available online for what uh, Hicktop recommends. So I'm kind of merging that along with some of the stuff I've done, so we'll just see how it turns out. I honestly don't expect it to, to turn out very well, but we'll just see how it turns out anyway. Anyway guys, I'll get things started up here, get the time lapse going, and I'll see you at the end of the time lapse. Okay, so that was 30 hours, 31 minutes. Now, one thing I am noticing is the glass did shift. Now, that's all on me because whenever I did the profile, I did not check the box for Z-Hop. Uh, Z-Hop is really important because if you're printing details like up in here, wherever, if there's a little bit of warpage, what will happen is you can actually have the nozzle impact the model, which would cause a shift. Uh, especially on the glass so that's where I messed up on that but let's take a look get this up here see how that turned out now see up here how it's all stringy that's I'm pretty sure probably where the impacts have happened I can see a little bit of a shift here I'm trying to see further down the model looks like I might have had a shift right there so I, it's, I have no doubt that because I had the Z-Hop turned off that it's, that's what's caused some of the shifting issues. Um, it also caused the little tips of the wings to mess up. So I definitely got to work on that profile a little bit more. But let me go ahead and heat this bed up a little bit and then we'll pull this model off and uh, take a closer look at it. Okay, yeah, that's good enough for now. I don't like using brims. I went ahead and I used it on this mainly because I, well at the time, whenever I started the profile, I did it in uh, Cura 3.6, I believe it's the I believe that's what it was. That didn't have where you could have a brim just on the on the prime tower. And the prime tower definitely needs a brim, uh, otherwise it will fall over, especially when it's going up that tall. <laughs> that's a pretty tall prime tower. But let's take a closer look at this model. Layer line wise, this looks really nice. One of the nicest printers I've ever printed with. But with that said, I'm actually seeing more shifting on this side than I did on this side. And once again, the glass moved over a good eighth of an inch over during the duration of this print. So I have no doubts that that's what's caused some of these issues. Definitely something I'm going to come back. I'm going to revisit it. I'm going to try a new profile and see if it will do a little bit better. But I do have to say for two color prints, that's really clean having the two different colors. You don't have to worry about the mixing. Um, that really turned out nice. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.